The Mom, created by Chantal May Crittenden and Jasmine LeDuc. Learning a language requires three ingredients, means, opportunities, and motivation. Means refer to the cognitive abilities needed to learn a language. All typically developing children have the means to learn more than one language. Even children who have neurological disorders or intellectual disabilities can learn a first or second language. However, they will need more support to do so. Opportunities are necessary for children to communicate with others. Children need to be able to hear or use a language as much as possible. A typically developing child needs to be exposed to a new word a dozen times to master it. Children who have a language or learning disability need to be exposed to a new word 36 times to understand and use it. In fact, a child must be exposed to a language 40% of their waking hours to be able to understand it and 60% of their time to be able to use it. Finally, motivation is extremely important when learning a language, even more so when that language is a minority language. A child must want to learn the language and see the benefits of doing so. With these three ingredients, a child is able to learn a minority language in a minority language setting, if they reach the appropriate levels of exposure, of course. To determine if your child is receiving a sufficient level of exposure to the target language, you can find a printable resource at theparleypodcast.com under the Useful Resources Printable Pages tab. There, you will have the choice between two forms, school and preschool. Click on the image that corresponds to the chosen form to download it. In order to use the form, you will need to record the number of hours your child spends in each language in different contexts for each day of the week. This means if the community language is English, the hours during which the child is exposed to the English language should be entered in this column. If the target language is French, the hours during which the child is exposed to the French language should be entered in the other column. After doing this for a week, you will be able to calculate the child's exposure to each language. First, add the number of hours the child has been exposed to the community language in box A. Then, you will do the same for the target language in box B. By adding the numbers in box A and box B, it is possible to obtain the total number of exposure hours in box C. To calculate the percentage of exposure to the community language, take the number in box A and divide it by the number in box C. To calculate the percentage of exposure to the target language, take the number in box B and divide it by the number in box C. And there it is. Please note that this percentage is not fixed. It will change according to the time of year, summer vacation, people in the child's environment, etc. For more relevant resources on the mom, please visit theparleypodcast.com. You can also listen to the video entitled Language Exposure Matters for more information.